identify the major period, artists, and artworks of Philippine art history. Number two, we find contemporary arts by situating this within Philippine art. Number three, distinguish conservative, modern, and contemporary style in the visual arts. This lesson provides a more detailed discussion of Philippine art history, its major period, artists, and their works. Today, you will learn the Philippine art during the pre-conquest. In art historical terms, we refer to art before the coming of the first colonizer as pre-conquest. In Islamic terms, we refer to it as indigenous to emphasize the idea that our ancestors have been making art before colonization. Pre-conquest was their art before colonization. Prior to colonization, art of the ancient Filipinos were woven into fabric of everyday life. They do not refer to art as we do today. They did not distinguish forms into different categories like music, theater, visual arts, and etc. Our ancestors were hunter-gatherers. They imitated the movement of animal and prey and the sounds that they made. And this simple activity alone evolved ritual, music, dance, theater, and even literature. Even the hunters gather societies prepared themselves for the hunt and prey to be endowed with the strength that they hunted. They were in fact performing ritual. When they partitioned what they hunted and gathered, feasted on the fish that they caught or the pig that they slew, it was a form of ritual. When they told the stories about the hunt, this form of oral storytelling marked the beginning of literature. When they imitated the movements of the animals that they hunted, this mark of the early beginning of theater or play acting. Many of these rituals, which we can consider as the earliest form of theater, are still in the various regions, a similar known as Kanyao or Kanyao. The Kanyao also involves animal sacrifices. Where the imprints are read through a process of divination, is performed either for healing, to announce the birth of a child, or a coming of wake age, weddings, and burial ceremonies. Another ritual officiated by the shaman or humbaki of Ifugao's ethnic group. May Banubanwa and Kapay Banubanwa rituals in Batanes. The making of May Banubanwa or making a fort which refers to sacrificial rite performed at the beginning of summer fishing season by Matao Fisher in Batanes. By Banu Banwa, the ceremonial and ritual opening of a fishing port to obtain the favor of the spirit dwellers of the sea. A Kashawing ritual in Lake Mindanao. A Kashawing ritual to ensure abundance during rice planting and harvesting and is still observed and performed. Tagbanwa rituals in Palawan. The Tagbanwa believe that every 13 moon, three goddesses descend from heaven to bless the planting of rice. The pre colonial peoples of the Philippines already possess a varied and vibrant musical culture. The country's indigenous culture, through the existence of ethnic musical instruments such as pipes, flutes, zither, drums, instrument like Pugyabi, Pulintang, and the array of gongs. The native dance form whose movement often imitated of animals, humans, and elements from nature. Example, Pangalay dance from Pulu, a mimetic of the movement of seabirds. Nandayas Kinabua, the Banug Banug of Mindanao, Manmanug of Mangobos, Bilit Malan, an example of mimetic predatory birds dance movement. The leaf dance of Ipugao used in courtship is an example of wild fowl's mimetic dance movement, while comedic monkey dance movement is in among of Matitsalok Kalaliwas of Tibulis. Nikwing is the national dance of the Philippines with bamboo poles. Did you know that during the Marcos regime, Carinosa was named the national dance of the Philippines. Pre colonial Filipinos have been making images before colonization. For the Cordillera's curve, they have Hagabi. Only the rich people.
people can have this chair together with the ritual celebrated after the chair has been made. The Manonggal jar shows that the Filipino's maritime culture is paramount that it reflects at its ancestor religious belief. Many epic around the Philippines would tell how shows go to the next life aboard boats pass through the rivers and seas. This belief is connected with the astronomical belief of the Adipo. Axel Codex, an upper class Tagalog couple, was portrayed wearing gold jewelry while Visayans as Islas de los Pintados. Don't forget, pre colonial Filipinos were Pintado valued. It was believed to protect the individual from evil spirits. In some cases, it was considered as a bunch of